The following program is classified PG. It contains some coarse language. One recommends parental guidance for young viewers. Deep in the urban jungle, a renegade army wages war, transforming urban eyesores without permission. The weapons, plants, soil and stealth. The potential risk, million dollar fines, even jail. My name's Dave and we are the Gorilla Gardeners. Tonight, the hit that landed us in the headlines. The council says it posed a danger to motorists. Lily and Peter found one of the most challenging sites yet. Smack in the middle of a traffic roundabout. It'll be tough, but look at it. It's a wasteland. It definitely deserves the gorilla treatment. So what do you like it? It's like almost a blank canvas. There's nothing here. Except rubbish. Look at all these great gardens along here on the residential area. It's all well maintained. Yeah, and the council's just let this go to nothing. I reckon people would be stoked to see something, you know, a bit nicer in the area. Five streets intersect on this roundabout. The only thing is, we'll have to tell the guys, apart from the power lines, yeah. is that you need to be able to see through. So whatever we do, we'll have to keep it line of, of sight. Yeah, keep the line of sight. Well, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's awesome too. Back at base, Pete and Lily fill the rest of us in on their find. The trouble with this one is going to get a be getting on and off. Yep, mm. so it's going to be pretty busy, so whatever we do, we've got to be extremely careful because it is a high-risk area. What were you thinking? Well, look, you know, the roundness of it and the fact that I was hungry the other day walking past a cake shop, so I thought uh, a Nina's tart. Who's <laughs> <laughs> So that you've got... You know, your black foliage, dark foliage side over here. You've got your silver foliage plants on this side. So you're saying half the side of the plants. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You it's know what? Sure. If you brought six in, you would have sold us the idea. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Do you, you know what I reckon the best, idea, best part of this idea is? What? We know how to get you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, a? could we just go and put a little, like, a, a deserted island on there? A dessert? You want a dessert? Hey! <laughs> you, mean like this, a, you mean like a palm tree? Like a palm I tree? Like with one a, palm tree in the middle. Yeah, just, with, I love it. I like you, it. You could, yeah. Without being too tacky, you could paint that, like, sea colour, like the blue around the yeah. edge. Yeah. Oh, if we're going to go the whole hog van, I reckon we need a wrecked boat. As well. A wrecked boat? Yeah. Yeah. No, Not a wrecked boat. Wreck. <laughs> Not the SS Gorilla. I feel like it's all getting into SS Gorilla. We've practically got Gilligan's Island. Half the Gilligan's Island's like, you are Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> you are Gilligan. You're Marianne. Great. Red hair, you could be the what? sexy one. <laughs> <laughs> the professor. Okay. We've got half the crew here. It is. This is going to be great. Right. So, just a palm tree, yeah. like the old boat. Boat. Yeah. boat. Wrecked boat. Wrecked boat. A few plants painting the outside of blue yeah. for the sea. For the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. That's definitely enough to go on. To see what the locals think, Mickey and I go undercover at the servo across the road. We're offering an old school service of put filling your fuel up for you. <laughs> How much would you like? Uh, this is embarrassing. I've only come in for a little sip. This um, this roundabout here, yeah. just because we've just moved in, we're thinking about uh, prettying it up, like flowers or a flower bed or something really low. Yeah, yeah. or a singular, uh, like yeah, a singular palm tree okay. or something yeah, like yeah, that. I guess one would be alright. Yeah. 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 It's a lovely idea, but you'll probably find it dull. The council wanted to help you about it. Yeah. The, the council's just not maintained. They're very slack over here. Yeah. I often thought that it was waiting for the council. Yeah. It's one of these things you never get round to it. Yeah. Sounds like the locals definitely want something done about it. So we plough ahead. We need a shipwreck. Ali and Scott have heard tales of an abandoned tinny up river. <laughs> I reckon that's it. Thank for you. Sure. Wow, delivered to shore. I'm happy to get my feet wet though. Does it look a bit holy? Oh, it's holy, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> it's wow. even the other side of that. Here. Oh, holy. Yeah, okay, that's too. all right. I brought gaffer tape. I reckon that's going to MacGyver us out of this situation. Oh. I'm going to throw it. That's the gorilla spirit alley. I've got my faith in MacGyver, but I don't have faith in you rowing this anyway. I'm a good rower. Right, that looks all good. I think you're good to go. That's salad. If only they had some gaffer on the Titanic. Lucky she's got that life jacket, especially with Scott trying to scuttle her. 
through you. While Ali tries not to take water, Mickey's working on a cover story that'll hold water. Yeah, very, very audacious cover story this week. Either the cops or the council are going to bear straight down on, on us. But he figures if we form a breakaway nation and secede from the Commonwealth, authorities won't have the power to shut us down. So now we just need a flag, we need a name, we need passports. I'm looking at my uh, Irish passport here for inspiration. I'm going to try and get away with it. Of course, any self-respecting island nation needs a palm tree. If you're after quite established plans, quite often it's a good idea to jump on your local classifieds or jump on the internet because people often are trying to get rid of large trees that they can't dig out. So you can get massive trees for, for free. It just means you've got to put it in a bit of back work to dig them out. I haven't seen a tree, but I reckon it'll probably take between four and five hours. But, mate, we've got this palm tree here that we're going to use on the job. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you could give us a hand to dig it out. How long will it take? An hour and a half? Two hours? OK. Yeah? yeah. Cool. Let's do it. The boys have headed deep into suburbia to pick up their palms. What about that thing? The bloke said they'll know his place when they see it. Hey, there it is. Look. Look at that house. There's heaps of palm trees there. Oh, that's cool. Look at the backyard. That's got to be for sure. This is a beauty. Right. That's what we want. It's not too tall for the truck. No, but that's no. pretty, you know, it's pretty significant. Palm trees have shallow bowls. This pair got entangled. So now we're getting two for the price of none. A great deal, because usually palms cost thousands. Whenever you're transplanting any sort of a plant, the best thing to do is always keep the roots moist. It just gives it a better chance when it gets to its new spot. So as long as it stays cool, you won't, you won't have a problem. The truck's nearly loaded. We're almost set. It's going to be a big day. Um, yeah, I'm prepared for um, a bit of a showdown with the cover story. <laughs> Coming up, we hit the site no, we, and no, a local no, accidentally right. blows the whistle on us. But, but I rang up the council and thanked them because I had rung you up yesterday to tell them what a mess this was in. You call them today and thank them. We take you into the extreme lives of Twister Sisters. Friends that risk their lives to trail tornadoes. The girls oh, and their fellow storm chasers collide with nature's fury in the hunt for the perfect storm. We got trouble. Oh my god, Chris. Oh my god, it's coming down right now. Come on! The chase is on. Twister Sisters starts 7:30 Wednesday on one. The ISAF Sailing World Championships are coming to Australia for the very first time. 80 nations, over 1,400 of the world's best sailors. This country's never seen anything like it. Perth is one of the greatest sailing venues in the world, and racing off Fremantle is going to be a sensation. To represent your country is a life's dream. This will be the most spectacular and the tightest world championships that the world's ever seen. Our young athletes are chasing a dream, and that dream begins in Perth. Are you a member of Oasis Active, Australia's largest free dating site? It only takes 30 seconds to sign up and 40,000 new Australian members join every month. It's fun, completely free and it works. Join today at oasisactive.com. Are you a motoring enthusiast? Does your current insurer understand your passion? At Shannon's, we're motoring enthusiasts, just like you. We understand the passion you have for your special car or bike. But did you know that Shannon's will also ensure your daily drive, the car you drive every day? So if you're a motoring enthusiast, you've got to be with Shannon's. So call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. I was referred to Ashley and Martin by my hairdresser because she noticed what I couldn't. And because I got in early, the doctor's confident I'll regrow my own hair. So call today and enjoy the confidence tomorrow. We're about to hit this barren suburban roundabout and, with our permission, transform it into a lush desert island. To keep the council at bay, we're going to pretend we're a breakaway nation. 
<laughs> Sorry, mate, what's the title? Yeah, I don't get I'm, it. I'm from the Department of Foreign Affairs. He's from the Department of Foreign Affairs. He's not with us. He's basically <laughs> investigating the fact that we are uh, declaring independence from Australia. We are. And here's, here's your passports. <laughs> How's your passport? Is that is We're beautiful. the Republic of Gardenia. <laughs> Any council guy that comes mm. down, even the cops, they can't touch us. It's a matter for the army or the Department of Foreign Affairs. And yep. now I've also got Republic of Gardenia um, oh, with, nice. our, with our little uh, symbol. Awesome. So if anyone in authority comes up, they haven't got a passport, off. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. The soil on this roundabout is no good for our garden. So we're improving the quality by adding topsoil. But the traffic's heavier than expected. And we need to be safety conscious. So Pete and Mickey grab the lollipops. With all this activity, people are starting to take notice. Not sure how the cover story is going to hold up. Uh, it's audacious, that's for sure. Okay. I better put our disguise to the test. It's the Republic of Gardenia. The oh, the Republic of Gardenia. Where's Gardenia? Ma there, that's it, you're looking at it. Oh, bullshit. That's There's true. no place called Gardenia on, on the dirt. Well, it's not really a cover story he's come up with. He's just, he's just, he's just being a smart ass, basically. That's what Mickey, this is Mickey being a smart ass. I better get back on the job, because our palm tree just pulled into port. Beautiful. Stand up. Oh. Dave, you just walk around. Pete, Pete, a little bit that way. Is it? Yeah. yeah, not too much, a little bit. Yeah, that's it. It looks big. It looks absolutely wicked. Guys, yeah. we're making absolutely wicked time, though, so let's keep this. Yeah, cool, going. let's go. In. We have to spread the soil right across the roundabout, but we need to be careful. We're creating a beach one metre right around the outside of the island. So if you put soil in there... It's a waste of soil. We want to step down onto the sand. Okay. Right. Yeah. We put up for two years of crap. Two years of this, two years of crap. Yeah. And there's been nothing there. No. I've, right. I've got a file of letters I've written to the council. About this? Yeah. Oh, well, I hope That's... you like what we're doing. Oh. Yeah, we didn't ask him. We just thought, let's do it. I'd, I'd like to be a fly on your hat when the <laughs> councillor arrives. Well, because I'll find out I'd love to be here. When they come and say, yeah. all right. And if anything's bound to draw their attention, it's raising the flagpole. OK, that's good, that's yeah. good. Can you go? Before we hoist it, Mickey adds a final touch. Right. We've carefully checked its height to make sure it's clear of the power lines. He's ready on your face. Does he look good? Uh, but it just seems leaning towards the uh, shopping centre. All right. Should lean towards Southern Shire Council, you know, and go and crap on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so the plants are here waiting to be planted. We just have to get them on, mulch on, sand on, and we're away. During a break in traffic, Pete and Ali safely steer our shipwreck to shore. councils on the prowl. But the island of Gardenia is taking shape. Yeah. I hope these things aren't going to grow too hard. No, we've made sure that they Well done. Okay, thanks. Well done. Ali's used her vast horticultural knowledge to select sturdy plants, which will thrive here despite the car fumes. Um, so we've put in these cordyline red stars. They're from out of our nursery back at the ranch. Um, we put in these white mandevillas. They're going to creep and climb all over the island. And in the boat, we've got this purple convolvulus, which is really good for embankments. It's also going to go around the edge of the island. This sedum, which is really uh, happy in this kind of area. And Lily's putting in a lovely little crown of thorns, which is a spiky, funny little plant that just looks so cute sitting there on the corner of the boat. I think it's still one of the best sites we've done, and it looks amazing. Uh, yeah. What Mickey's done is he's just gone down to the to the foreshore. He's caught himself a seagull using a chip and all he's got to yep. do now is just drill it into the boat and that yep. won't be able to fly away. Don't hole. worry, kids. No real seagulls were harmed during the creation of this nation. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to ask you. It is lovely, but you haven't got your passport on you. Have you got your paperwork? Passport? This is 
is Gardenia. This is Gardenia. I can't. I, I thought the council was doing all this. Oh, no. No, not no, part of them. No, no. Th these are the lovely Gardenians. It's just lovely. I just, yeah. just beautiful. Look at it. Well, I rang up the council and thanked them because I had rung you up yesterday to tell them what a mess this was in. You call them today and thank them. Yes, today, and I call them today and thank them. That's just great. Now they definitely know we're here. We're, um, we're guerrilla gardeners. Well done. Good you guys. I was thinking the council cannot be paying that much money. Speak of the devil, here comes the council now. Are they bearing good news or bad? That was the council. Yeah. Um, they said it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> really? And they've claimed it. Yeah, They're going good. back to we're the office. You know what they're worried boss. about? You know what they're worried about? What? The time lapse camera that we've attached to the giveaway uh. sign. <laughs> At this point, really, really? we thought all was well. Little did we know, the council was preparing to pounce. At this point, all the work has to stop immediately. Immediately. Okay. Can switching to real car insurance really save you that much money? Let's find out from one of their customers. I found out about real insurance because my parents are actually insured their house with it. I went online, had a wee look, and it was cheaper than anyone else, so I signed up on the spot. Oh, when I switched to real, I saved at least $300. Well, the money I saved when I switched to real insurance is all going towards my honeymoon and wedding, so I'm getting married a wee bit quicker. Call 13 19 48 for a quote. Real insurance, real service, real savings. 98% of Ashley and Martin patients regrow more hair. A doctor diagnoses your condition and prescribes a specific medical treatment. It's not cosmetic. It's real science and real hair. Your hair. So enjoy the confidence. There once was a hungry road that terrorised drivers and wore out their tyres, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. Then along came the Michelin Man, who proved the right tyre changes everything. With long-lasting tyres, those drivers were back on the road to saving money with maximum safety. New Michelin Energy XM2 tyres last 20% longer with maximum safety. Michelin, a better way forward. The following takes place between 8.30 and 9.30 tonight. 747 just blew up over Mojave Desert. Look, I don't have time to explain, but some very bad things are happening tonight. Our daughter is missing. I think that's pretty bad, don't you? Go to hell! Oh, Palmer has left sweet. He is exposed. There may be an element inside the agency involved with the hit on Palmer. Don't trust anybody. 24, 8.30 tonight on One. We're trying to resuscitate this lifeless traffic roundabout. And wouldn't you know it? We didn't get round to asking permission. So all the plants have gone in. They've been watered. They've been sea salt. They've been water soiled. We've got to put the sand as a beach right around the outside. Paint the outside pavement blue. We'll have ourselves a tropical island. We're nearing the home stretch, and it's starting to feel like we could actually pull this one off. Oh my gosh. What's this? Another council vehicle, and this one's circling like a shark. Sutherland Council, just so you know. Huh? Sutherland Council, circling us. Say? Sutherland Thanks Council. Sorry. With cameras! They had cameras! They had cameras. Beautiful. They're coming back. They're coming back. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we're about to uh, have a truck situation. <laughs> They've pulled in. I've got to admit, I'm packing it. I sure hope our cover story holds up. David. Greg. Hey, Greg. How are you? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. How are you guys? I'm all right. What's what are you doing? Well, what are they doing? They reckon they've started a Republic of Gardenia and they're building a Republic in the middle of this traffic island. I'm from the Department of Foreign Affairs myself. We're trying to sort this one out. Oh, really? Have you sought approval from Southern Council yeah. in order to create your little Republic of Gardenia yes. on Council property. I've been investigating these guys myself and they have not got approval from anyone. I right? would be asking you, yep. as the re representative of Sutherland Council, and yep. you as the diplomat uh, involved, yeah. that we basically stop all work as soon as possible yep. until we can get, get it resolved. Would okay. you be able to achieve that for me? Yeah, I can stop all work as soon as possible. Can you wait there? 
I'm happy to wait here as long as, long as <laughs> All right, takes. I'll be one second. This guy means business. I've got no choice but to play along and buy us some time. Who's Dave coming to? Excuse me. I need to speak to someone. The people of Gardenia don't have the permission to do this. What are the get chances? Get the sand down. Let's just get the sand down. Get the sand down? Yep. Just buy us more time and just... So you gotta, you're going to get rid of this sand? Yes. Yep. Sand and then we're done? Yep. Yep. They want to get rid of all the bags, get rid of all the bags of soil, clean them up, and then they're gone. There's not a great deal of security. For the, for the extent of work that you're doing here, yeah. you know, like, where's your, um, where's your public liability? Is there, is, have you got some sort of insurance? Do you want to check, check we... with insurance? <laughs> I can check with insurance. I think we do. Hang on one second. What a gift. If I play this right, I can stall for another 10 minutes. Right. Do we have public liability insurance? Yes. Yes, we do? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. $10,000. Hey, we're a sovereign $10 nation. $10 million. Dollars. $10 million? $10 million. 10,000 doesn't buy you much these days. Okay, this is what I've been told. They're a sovereign nation and they've got $10 million worth of public liability. Sovereign nation with $10 million liability. Yeah. Okay. David. Yeah. Do me a favor, let's walk down in the shade. All right, all right. The council's issue is that it's unauthorized work. Yep. Right. Without council knowledge, right? Everybody starts to get a little bit jittery about exactly what's happening, what's yep. going on, all right? Sure. We'll, we'll get, we are, we're on, we're going to work as fast as we can just to get out of your hair now. Excuse me, David, while yeah. I just speak to my boss. Sorry. Yeah, sure. The council, look, they, they respect that this is Gardenia. They're not going to step foot on it because I'll take, I'll, I'll take the big fella down. I'll take him down quickly. Um, but they have a problem with sort of safety issues, public liability. Uh, they have a problem with the fact that we just did it without asking for permission. So we have to do it as, qui as quickly as we can because he's on the phone to someone else who, um, could be coming down okay. really soon. While we wait for the word to come down from above, we desperately try to finish off. Quick, quick, quick. Dave, over there, mate. Let's get rid of these ones. To create a beach effect around the edge of our island, we need to keep spreading the sand. All, all the barrow. Then we want to paint the curb surrounding it blue so it looks like the sea. Here we go. Looks like the verdict's been handed in. The message I've I've been given from my hierarchy yeah. is that at this point all the work has to stop immediately. Immediately. Okay. Right. Uh, Tools down. Me. Yes. Sir. All right. Damn! I thought I'd bought enough time. Scotty. Oh no! He's another council guy, and this one's got a tie, so he must be really important. Hello, uh -huh. mate. How are you? David. I'm Grant Willoughby, I'm Park Grant. Operations Manager. G'day, Grant. How are you? Can you turn that off, please. Can you turn that off, please, mate. This guy just laid down the law. He says we have no option but to leave immediately. Stop now. We have to stop now. Just take your tools and go. We can't do any more work. Really? We can't. Get, get off. Leave it. Leave it as he is. Stop work. We've got to finish the job, surely. I'll well, let at least take, take it, it off. Okay, look, just say let's look like, hey, we'll just take the sound guys, off. Guys, let's just look like we're starting to clear the decks. We've got a few yeah, open. Cool. We'll spill them on the way out. Just take we'll your just tools. Be done. I've raised the flag. Okay. Flags up. Flags <laughs> Good up. work, Vicky. So, Grab all the tools we don't need. Start taking them off. It looks like we're leaving. Yep, start start taking, taking the excess bags of sand. It looks like we're going. While we all continue to finish. Yeah, let's go. The council still got their eye on us. So the trick is to finish up while we pretend to pack up. Yeah. Got it. Good job. We're almost done with the sand. Hey, Put three minutes off. I'm, I'm water. Council stopped us. That's We've almost finished, though. It's almost finished, though. Yeah, that's not fair. Hello? Hey, look, it's, it's all right. It's, not, it's yes. almost finished. It looks really nice. Oh, They're not going to pull it out. Oh, okay. Don't know. That's up to them. It's up to the council. Yeah, yeah but it's been such good feedback. All that stalling actually paid off. The council shut us down, but with a small change in plan, we managed to finish. Uh, does it read? Yes! yes. yes. Great. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. It's a guerrilla victory. But coming up, the council strikes back. A stoush has broken out between residents and a local council over the demolition of a garden at a roundabout. Have you ever wondered how the biggest, heaviest, longest are moved? 7.30 Friday. One's brand new series takes off and size does matter. Cut a country in half? No worries. Lay a pipe under the deepest oceans? Easy. Dam a mountain range? Piece of cake. 
No problem is too big. The brand new Mighty Movers starts 7.30 Friday on One. This is the one I score again. I had to go for the corner. <laughs> there were three typical winger tries and one we burrowed over like a forward. And suddenly the streets were filled with people dancing black, white, coloured, didn't matter. Most tries scored by any Supremo player at the time. I'm happy, I'm happy with what I've achieved. Use your MasterCard and win the chance to witness history at Rugby World Cup 2011. You've got to make sure you get the best possible trading price. And you can. Just text me. Or me. Your trading details to 0447 0141010101 and one of us will call you back with a price. Come on, text your trade-ins, make, model, kilometres and colour. And we'll give you the best trading price in town. Australian fleet sales, 800 quality used cars. And the best trading prices around. Go on, text, text us. 0447 0101. Right under the nose of the local council, who were bent on shutting us down, we managed to turn this lifeless roundabout into a lush, tropical paradise. Complete with a shipwreck garden, a palm tree and its very own flagpole, proclaiming the independent island nation of Gardenia. The locals were behind us all the way. They love it. Nice one, guys. Early Ooh. finish. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. We finished early. Well, thank thank you, you so much. Though, thank as well. you. But hey, we got so close. Yeah. Well, you gave us an hour and a half. That's it. I'd say 98%. I'd say yeah. 98%. Yeah. At least we had support from a lot of the locals. Yeah. Oh, I think everyone that, that came really up good. to us backed us. I reckon that was one of the best communities that I yeah. worked in. I think. Yeah, I yeah. think every single person. There wasn't like any. Uh, there was every single person was for it. Really it looked good. It looked really yeah. good. Cheers, that. Good job, guys. Well done. Well done. A stoush has broken out between residents and a local council over the demolition of a garden at a roundabout. It took a few hours to plant these flowers, but even less time to dig them up. Plant after plant, the display was stripped bare after Sutherland Council ordered the garden be ripped up. I thought it was a beautiful bit of landscape and now it's just been destroyed. Sutherland Council was not available for interview today, but the reason they told the residents that the gardening display had to be removed was because the boat, flagpole and palm tree were creating dangerous vision impediments for motorists. And what annoys me is they've come and taken everything out, but they've left the dangerous part. <laughs> Sutherland Council has promised it will design a smaller roundabout soon. But locals aren't keen on the council's smaller garden. They want ours back. In fact, they're so behind us, they stage a 200-strong protest rally. We're absolutely humbled by their amazing support. And it helps take the sting out of things when we receive some nasty council mail. 5th of February 2009. What's the fine for exactly? Um, Doing stuff without permission. Yeah, no, so we'll without say here. Um, we'll say on here. Authorization. Development carried out without a development consent. So we didn't yeah, ask that's the permission. Offense. But, not but we had consent from the locals, exactly. Uh, isn't that that's more taken. important? The article in the leader that has seen residents demanding that the garden goes back oh, in and man. how bored they are with the new garden mm. that's gone in there, they'll be, in, they'll be so enraged yeah, yeah, that yeah, we're yeah, being fired. There was a quote from, from, the, um, from the lady from the council that says they put in a boat. It's not a boat, it's a tiny little, like, they Timmy, make it... Yeah, those no, rocks are probably as high as a boat. Yeah, yeah exactly right. Yeah, exactly. We're gutted about our garden getting ripped out, but we're overwhelmed by the locals getting behind us. 
At the very least, we've managed to kick the council into action after ignoring that roundabout for so long. It may not be gardenia, but at least it's a step in the right direction. If you want to chat with a gorilla, get on our website. Ali and Lily are in the bunker right now, ready to talk. As the sign says, welcome to Exmouth, home of the beautiful Ningaloo Reef, and of course those magnificent whale sharks and some of the best fishing in the country.